Hello again, it's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are with our project coming right along. We've got music, we've got narration, we've got action, everything you need. All we need to do is start adding titles. Now there are a couple of ways to add a title in Movie Studio. The most basic of them all is simply to right click on your timeline and select insert text media. That's pretty generic. That just drops text in there. You notice this is called the Vegas title and text. We'll, I'll show you what that means in just a second. But if you just wanna add text and you wanna do it quick and dirty, that's the way to do it. I'm going to remove that because I wanna show you the full library of media generators for creating text and titles. And they are under the Media Generator tab here in the upper left of the program. You can see that Media Generators can be used to create these cool media graphics. They can be used to create noise textures, to add solid colors, to create test patterns. A lot of cool things you can do, and I, and I show you how to do them, and then actually how to create animations with some of these in the book. But there are three that are specifically dedicated to generating titles. There is Legacy Text. This is the oldest. This is from the early days of Vegas and Vegas Movie Studio. They're pretty simple, but they can be effective. Titles and Texts. These are kind of the workhorses for the program. And then Credit Roll for creating rolling titles. And you notice that each of them have little presets. You can change just as you can with special effects or video effects. But let's take a look at the most basic. Here is the legacy text, and we'll just grab one here, the default text, and drag it on down to our timeline. You notice that the media files are, let me move the playhead back a little, they are transparent by default. So when you add the text, you can see whatever video is on the track below them. So I can select all of my text here, overwrite it with whatever I want. Uh, we can choose a number of things here from the legacy text options. We can, of course, set things like our font and our size and uh, the characteristics of the text. We can also select its placement. In other words, right now it's in the dead center of the screen. I can drag it around to whatever corner of the screen I want. And I can select the option here for it to move the text into a preset area. By the way, you notice that there is a safety box here, this little red box. I'm going to encourage you to always turn on your safety areas and you can not only see them here in the media generators, but just go over here to the overlays at the top of the preview window and select safe areas that will show a little grid. You want to keep your text inside the inner box. Television screens have a tendency to cut off a little bit around the edge of your video. You don't want any of your text to be outside these boxes or you risk losing the first couple letters or the last couple letters of your text. So keep them inside these safe areas. That's what these overlays are for. Other properties, you can change the color of the video. You can change the color of the background, the opacity of the background. A lot of cool things here. Some effects like to warp or squish or change the text or add some special effects to it and there's an animate button here so you can actually create or keyframe your own animations to make the text move and do some cool things and once again look under the presets and you'll see that there's a lot of cool presets in here let me close this window these are exactly the same presets as you'll see under the media generator window so let's delete that one that is the legacy text this is uh, titles and text much more the workhorse and you can see all of these have preset animations to them so if i were to select earthquake and drag it down here you see that not only do i get my text let me move this out of the way here not only do I get the text pre-programmed in here, but there's pre-programmed into the text some shaky earthquake animation and change that to whatever I want it to be. I can change the font and the size again and the color. And that doesn't affect the animation. The animation still gives you that kind of jiggly earthquake animation. And once again, a set of presets here, including presets for making your text come in one letter at a time, slide left, slide right, pop in, fly out from the background. And these presets are, again, identical to the presets you see here in the media generator panel. Finally, the credit roll. And the credit roll, as you might expect, these are presets or pre-programmed rolling credits. Now there's a lot you can do here. Uh, they give you a basic template for creating title text. And I'm just gonna double click this and call it Florida with a subtext, man, it was hot. <laughs> now I can create items on the left and right. So I can say Steve, Kathy, Eric, Gene, 
And there is my rolling credit. The program uh, does the rest, although there are a number of different ways you can create or customize this role. Uh, as you can see, when I play it here on the timeline, you'll actually see the credits roll up the screen. There they go. Now this has a black background. You can, of course, make that background transparent if you want. And you can add as many different tracks here. You can have the rolling credits go on for 10 minutes if you want. As many as you need, you can add them and the program will automatically generate the animation to make the text roll up and down the screen. Now that our movie is done, we're going to output it, which is what we're going to do here in part eight. I hope you join me for part eight of Vegas Movie Studio Platinum Basic Training.